the city of uh, Derna, which is in the east, is still recovering because we have the uh, the many teams from different countries. They working uh, to to help the people and to save the life, the life of the people who are still alive. Some people are still alive until now, and we have the news that uh, many families are being uh, saved. Although they they've been under the debris for several days, the rescue teams are uh, uh, helping uh, the people in Dinna. So we have many teams coming from different country, different locations in the, in the country of Libya, from the west, from the south, and from uh, the east itself. And uh, we have also they they found that uh, many uh, cars and the buildings are under the water. Uh, uh, the cars are still with the, the, the riders and them. They are dying. So uh, many people died and many people are still alive. So then they are trying to help rescue the people who are still alive in the city. Do you have like an idea yeah. of how many people uh, as of today have been found alive who are still like maybe stuck under the debris or in their cars? They said about uh, 20 people, they, they, they are saved. 20 and, people? Uh, sometimes they know. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. They are big, they, save the, they are saving big numbers of people who are still alive. And, uh, and uh, because uh, especially some people, they are still in, in, uh, in the sea. They found people in the sea alive. What are the people on the ground telling you? What is needed as of now? Is it medicine? Is it water? Is it tents? Food is enough now. The, the food uh, is, being, uh, is being brought by different uh, teams from different cities. But uh, the problem is now with, with the water. People, they are looking for healthy water and they cannot drink the water in the city. You cannot drink the, the water of the city of Derna because uh, it, it's not healthy now. The water is uh, polluted.